you're just going to do a quick video. This is a upgrade you can do to your 2015 and 16 Pioneer 500. If you're looking to upgrade the front shocks, maybe get a little bit better ride, but you don't want to shell out all the money on an air, air shock system or the Walker Evans. The 17 to 18 shocks are actually semi-adjustable there. Um, they're also like a dual coil spring versus the single here on the 15 and 16. Um, the 15 and 16 leaves a lot to be desired straight out the factory, but if you put a spacer or anything on there, you've just killed your ride like I have. So today I'm going to go ahead and swap out to the 17, 18 shocks. They weren't bad. I got two brand new ones off Partzilla for like 120 bucks shipped to me. Um, you know, much cheaper than a Walker Evans or an Air Shock upgrade, and they just bolt right in. It's just a 14 millimeter here at the bottom, and then you've got another 14 at the top. Let's see if we can zoom in here, and you know, some people have a hard time accessing this. A box and wrench is going to be your friend. You can just actually come here, lock it on, actually for the ratchet right in the back and then just take it right off. So currently we have about 13 inches of ground clearance right to the bottom of the frame there. Of course the spacer's probably assisting with that ground clearance and the 28 inch Otani tires. So we're going to swap the front shocks, see how much ground clearance we lose. I don't think we're going to gain any, but it would be nice if it would, you know, stick pretty close and improve the 15 to 16 front shock on your left and the 17 to 18 on your right. As you can see you get a lot more spring. You actually can adjust the preload on it. These are actually already, pre they came preloaded on the second notch. Not sure if that's how they come from the factory as I don't have a 17 or 18, but that's how I'm gonna run them. Here is, again, just an apples to apples comparison. It's a little rough to see there, but on the driver's side, I've went ahead and done the swap, it takes five minutes. And then on the passenger side, we've still got the old, old shock there with the spacer in it. I'm going to go ahead and swap it. Measuring ground clearance, uh, you know, just pulled it in out of the garage, put some weight on it. I lost a quarter of an inch, which is pretty much not nothing. I could probably adjust the preload and get that half an inch back. But at this point, I'm just looking to improve the ride a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and swap the other one out and take it out for a test drive and see how it does. So only went for a quick ride around the neighborhood, hit a couple speed bumps, and I just have to say, wow, night and day difference. Um, I actually went ahead and adjusted these to the third notch since I was used to such a harsh ride before. Ground clearance I lost right at half an inch after everything settled. It was a ride at 13 before, now I'm at 12 and a half. Perfectly fine giving up that half inch for the ride improvement. I mean, to me it's a absolute night and day difference. I know I had the spacer on mine, but I think even those without the spacer can benefit. I mean, for under $150, this is a great, great mod. Um, give you a much better ride. You can enjoy your Pioneer. And if anyone's curious about the part number, I'll go ahead and take a quick image of that. That way, whether you get it from Partzilla, your local Honda dealer, anybody you want, that is the part number for the 17 to 18 springs for the front.